Benjamin, as we sit here, you've been with Vitesse for almost half a year. It's been an eventful first six months at Vitesse. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's true. It feels like uh, more than six months uh, for the moment because uh, really a lot of things uh, happened um, at that time. Um, but that al also let, uh, let me to dive in uh, quickly, so I feel like being part of Vitesse for longer. Yeah. You make a calm impression, but I can imagine it's also a busy and hectic period for you now. Uh, if you, if you uh, mean calm by, by sitting on the couch and, and waiting until uh, things happen, then you have the wrong impression. Um, of course, it's a busy and hectic time, but also for me, it's always important to to, uh, n to to never lose your your pathway. And we know exactly what we want to do, what we have to do, and we stick to the plans, no matter how hectic or uh, um, yeah how the situation is around you. On Sunday, the new Eredivisie season will start with the home game against Feyenoord. How do you look back at the preseason of Vitesse? Looking back to preseason, um, we all know that there were some some challenges, and there still are. Uh, this is uh, uh, not not to hide. Uh, we're working hard on that. Uh, of course, we had uh, uh, some some challenges by, by by good players leaving leaving our squad. Uh, we were starting to replace uh, um, the first uh, the first players uh, in the in the squad, which is still in process, and we know the red line of uh, the transfer market closes. Uh, uh, by the beginning of September this year, so um, yeah, we have some some things to do. Overall, preseason was challenging, um, but we want to start and we want to do uh, to to do good. Summer began with the extension of the contracts of Milian Manouf and Thomas Buiting. How important was that for Vitesse? Yeah, first of all, it's it's always important to um, uh, to make sure that the players that have a certain value for you as a club. Uh, um, are still um, uh, secured by a contract because uh, uh, this is what you want. We had a lot of players leaving as a free agent uh, this summer. This is obviously something which you want to avoid as a club. Um, this is the first side, maybe the, the, the bigger part of it. The second part of it is uh, that both players, uh, but maybe even especially uh, uh, Million, uh, that by the end of the last season did extremely well. Uh, he stepped up and we, we expect both uh, Thomas and, and Million to step up, step up this season. Um, so even sporting wise, uh, um, they have to add something, something to the team, which I'm sure they are uh, capable of. Currently, we have brought in five reinforcements. Among them are four defenders. What can you tell about them? What we always try to do is bring different, different profiles, different age profiles, uh, but also different, different profiles. If you compare the one or the other, uh, like Ferro with, uh, uh, with, yeah, more than 190 of length, uh, gives something different than, for example, uh, Melle Moyenstein. Um, all of the profiles are quite, uh, quite interesting profiles, uh, also in terms of age and, and, and career level. So um, um, I think we, 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 we so far did a, did a good job and, uh, and you can see already uh, that they start to find themselves. It will need uh, a few matches uh, that every, everything is, is really settled. Um, but so far I can state uh, um, that we closed, uh, uh, closed the gap uh, in the defense so far. Yeah, the most recent addition has a more attacking profile, that's Mo Sanko. What do you think of him? What can he bring to Vitesse? Yeah, Mo, Mo is, a, is a very promising um, a talent that found his way uh, through the Netherlands to, to, to England and then to VfB Stuttgart. And, uh, he was uh, close to having his breakthrough in the first Bundesliga. He even had his, his, his first minutes and, and doing well, even scored in the Cup, uh, in the German Cup. Um, at the age of 17, so he's, he's really a promising talent which has a big injury uh, which opened up a window um, um, for having him on loan and uh, uh, we took this opportunity um, by knowing that uh, he will need some time to, to, to really adapt again to, to playing, he's still uh, a young player. Uh, but also a very promising um, player. He gives us uh, he gives us some some um, some additional qualities uh, which we were lacking after some players uh, leaving Vitesse, like uh, velocity, speed, deep runs, and, and also finishing qualities. I have to ask one question on behalf of many uh, supporters of Vitesse: What else can be expected in this transfer window? Yeah, well, as I said, uh, uh, looking calm doesn't mean that we're not focused on, on, on what's happening on the team. There's no secret that we uh, still have kind of a, a small squad. We have 
20 players uh, in, in our squad, this is not sufficient to go through an entire Eredivisie uh, season. Uh, we know that and we know uh, the red line will be end of August, beginning of September. So there is something to expect it, but also we need to, we need to say um, that we still have to do it case by case. Uh, meaning we always have to outbalance uh, uh, the sporting needs against the, uh, the financial uh, framework we have. Following on that, uh, Pascal van Wijk stated that takeover developments can also increase our possibilities, also on the technical side. Can you explain this also a little bit? Explaining is may maybe a little bit uh, difficult because it would uh, go a little bit too deep here. Um, but a little bit, as I pointed out now, now we have to act uh, not in a certain budget where you know uh, what you can what you can use, but it's more what is the needs in comparison um, to what yeah what kind of risk is is the club uh, willing to take so it's it's like almost daily discussions uh, what can we do now um, is it is it more bringing a loan player can we do a transfer fee we, we had to switch a little bit also uh, during the market and during the window um, everyone that followed up uh, um, um, was reading and seeing and seeing me saying that we want to build up also um, assets to the team this is still the the the, the thing but also as long as it's not 100% uh, sure uh, what the what the future of the club will be it is difficult to sign players for uh, three four five years um, as everyone can 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 expect so it's always a, a balance which we which we have to have to take which makes it a little bit more complex uh, um, than usually but uh, this is the case we're in and this is uh, where we do the best out of it how many conversations do you have about this with the coach Thomas Letch how does that work between you <laughs> First of all, it works. It works well. Uh, we speak almost daily. Uh, we frequently give give our updates, uh, which is naturally given is that that a coach uh, always uh, faces the first match as his uh, ending point of the preseason. Uh, whereas me, as a technical director, sees the red line uh, this year on first of September. So this is something which we have to figure out in a sense uh, uh, amongst ourselves. Uh, I know that uh, coaches would, would always like uh, like to have the full squad available by starting the preseason. That was impossible. Now I even have to state that we will not have the full squad available uh, um, uh, facing Feyenoord in the in the first match. Um, but also Thomas is a person that that knows about the situation, and uh, as long as we are heading in the in the same direction, and this is the feeling I have, uh, everything is fine. And obviously both of us as the entire club uh, wants to have the most success we can get uh, um, um, out of the, the situation we face. Do you think regardless of what's, what is still going to happen in the window, does it remain important to act creatively and smartly? For me the most important, especially when it, when it is a time like we, like we face at Vitesse now, is uh, uh, that we do it smart, creative, but also together. And this is also what I ask from everyone uh, um, in the club, but also outside the club, that we stand together. And the, the closer we are together, uh, the more can come, come out of it in a positive way. And I'm still convinced that we can find a positive uh, way out of this. Does it mean that we, that we um, already can, um, um, can focus on the ambition we have? Maybe it's a little bit early to say, and to be realistic, um, the situation right now um, doesn't lead me to say now uh, we're entering uh, um, the first, uh, the first uh, group of, of Eredivisie. That would not be realistic at the moment. Um, but we want to stay together and head to something uh, which is ambitious but also realistic. <laughs> the club and the players and, 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 and the staff uh, will need support. And uh, support is always easy uh, when you can cheer because uh, you do extremely well. But support is maybe even more important uh, when you face a difficult situation. We're trying to avoid uh, end up in a difficult situation when we come on the pitch on the first or second match day. Um, but yeah, togetherness is, is, is maybe the key word we need uh, for the start of the season. Is it therefore difficult to give a clear goal or expectation for the new season? No, the clear goal will be um, that we win as much ma matches as are possible to win. Um, but the following question would be how much is possible? And this one I cannot answer for the moment. Uh, we want to be ambition, um, ambitious, but also we, 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 we don't want to create uh, a, a situation where we, where we think we cannot fulfill expectations. Um, and this has to come, come along with each other. Um, 
And a final word of what can be possible this uh, season in Eredivisie can be, can be stated after the first uh, four, five, six matches uh, or for me maybe after the first transfer window in this season.